Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, smash that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. Also, hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Be careful down in the comment section of my videos. A lot of spam, a lot of scammers. I will never ask you to contact me by WhatsApp and I do not invest money for my subscribers. So be careful. Don't get yourself scammed. If you want six free stocks, Weeble is gonna give you six free stocks. When you open a new Weeble brokerage account, put at least one penny in that account. They're gonna give you six free stocks valued all the way up to $12,600. So after the video, I want you to go down to the description box of the video. Open up your new brokerage account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. Rich people and poor people really are not the ones carrying this country on their back from a taxation standpoint. It's really the middle class. See, for rich people, the most they're going to pay in taxes in most cases is about 20%. And the reason they're only going to pay 20% at most is because most rich people make their money through capital gains. Capital gains on stock market investments, capital gains on real estate, capital gains on private equity, and the maximum capital gain taxation rate is 20%, guys. Did you know a middle class person making about $42,000 a year, their tax rate is about 22%. If you're making about $171,000 a year, your tax rate is about 32%. When you are a employee and you're working for somebody, this is sort of how your, your cash flow works. You get paid, you get taxed first, and then you live on what's left. This is how an entrepreneur or a business owner or the rich cash flow works. They earn and make money. They spend the money that they need, and then they get taxed on what's left. Notice that's a big difference. When you're an employee, like I said, you make money, you get taxed first, then you get the rest to live on. Not when you're a rich person, not when you're an entrepreneur, right? You make money, you spend what you need to spend, and then you get taxed on what's left. That's the advantage rich folks have over the middle class. And then, like I said earlier, Unfortunately, the folks that are considered lower income in our society don't really have a lot of income to speak of to even get taxed on, right? So really, it's the middle class that bears the weight, pay all the taxes, right? So what can the middle class do in order to change that? You can buy assets. And that's what I talk about a lot in my videos, guys. I, I try to get you guys to understand because most of you guys that watch my videos are in that middle class and, and you're carrying the weight from a taxation standpoint. You, you are the one that funds this country, right? You know, you fund this country. So assets is your only way out, guys. You gotta start buying assets in order to change this. Let's talk a little bit about inflation. Who do you think inflation affects the most low income poor folks middle middle class income folks or rich folks sorry to tell you guys inflation affects the middle class the worst right from a taxation standpoint it it, it affects middle class the worst let's think about it this way let's say inflation is 10 percent but you get a 10% raise. You're thinking, oh, I'm keeping up with inflation. Uh-uh-uh, not necessarily. 
because that 10% raise you got just kicked you into a higher tax bracket, right? So although inflation is 10%, you think you got a 10% raise. No, 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 that 10% raise is gonna throw you in a higher tax bracket. So effectively your taxation rate will really wipe away most of that 10% raise you just got. Not for rich folks, but again, because remember, most wealthy people, they make their income through capital gains. So capital gains on real estate, capital gains on stock market investments, private equity, that's where the bulk of their revenue comes from. Poor folks or lower income folks, they don't really have any income. Really our government programs that the middle class pretty much pays for takes care of them. And I'm not knocking low income or poor folks. Trust me, I'm not. I'm just being honest with you from a middle class standpoint where most of you guys are, right? We take care of the poor and low income through the taxes that we pay. We allow the rich to pay not their fair share of taxes. And how do we allow them not to pay their fair share? Is because we vote for these people who we put in office that make these laws for the rich. Middle class vote for these people, right? We vote for these people that give all the advantages to the rich and the wealthy. So we can't blame anybody but ourselves for being in a position where we are carrying the weight of our country on our back. This active income that you're creating has no advantages from a taxation standpoint. You're going to pay the highest tax rates when you have active income. So what you want to do is you want to figure out how do I take this active income and move it over to passive income where I'm not taxed as heavily. Remember what I said, guys, capital gains income is capped at 20% tax. That's the most you're going to pay, right? So if I'm over here making a million dollars on uh, someone's job, I'm going to be in the highest tax bracket out there, right? I'm going to be in a 35% tax bracket or higher. But if I'm making a million dollars in passive income between real estate, rental income, between stock market dividends and capital gains, guess what? 20%, buddy. That's the most I'm going to pay. And I'm not going to even pay that 20% because there are going to be some, if I own real estate, I'm going to have depreciation. So, so even that that income that I should be paying the 20% on, I'm not going to pay that. Why? Because I'm going to depreciate my property over so many years and I get a deduction for that depreciation. Number one thing we got to do is figure out how to take our active income and turn it into passive income. And I told you the best way to do that is through buying assets. Right now is the best opportunity to do it because everything's on sale, right? All your, your favorite companies, you know, all these rich people know this right now, man. They are killing it. They are pouring so much money into the stock market, so much money into real estate right now because they know five, 10, 15 years from now, they're gonna be even wealthier, right? Because of these assets. And they're not gonna pay no taxes, right? They're not gonna pay any taxes. We gonna keep paying all the taxes. So guys, do yourself a favor, start buying assets, turning your active income into passive income, right? And, 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 and lower your tax rate, right? Lower your tax rate, get, get all the benefits associated with being an investor, right? Because really our, our tax code is really made for people who are wealthy. And, and, and let's face it, the, the low income, the poor, those are the two groups of people that benefit most from our tax code. If you want those six free stocks from Weeble, which would be a great way to start what? Building passive income through what? Stock market investing. Click on that link down in the description box. Open up your new account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. Stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing, share the video, smash the like button. Thoughts become things. You can see it in your mind. You can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. And I'm going to catch you on the next video. Peace. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies 
to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.